Hello friend, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some of the proven and best debugging tips which will help you to solve and get the reason of failure why your automation script is fa failing. What could be the chance? What could be the reason that element is not clickable? Your script is not interacting that particular element. So those things you will be able to figure it out like it's, it's been like almost more than six seven years now for me that people used to keep asking me that why this is this script is failing why this script is not clicking on that element why it is not interacting with that element and i always used to follow these uh, four or five points and 99 percent of the chance that we were able to figure it out what is the issue and how we can fix that so let's see how uh, what are these tips which can help you to uh, fix any kind of uh, error which uh, used to happen when you run the automation script so the very first thing is this like uh, here let me shut, uh, give you the scenario so here we will open this website selectorsub.com and then we are trying to perform an action on this element let's say under uh, here pro plans on selector sub pro okay so what we are doing we are opening the website and trying to click on that element okay and if we uh, like verify this x path that is also visible okay so let's run this script first and here we are opening the uh, automation window the browser window with this extension by default added in that like selectors of extension I will leave this piece of code so here you see that the window has opened I'm just trying to set a scenario like uh, so that I can explain you guys so here you see that this script has failed now this script is failing saying that element not interactable okay so what is the reason that this is not able to interact with that element so what we will do here we should the very first thing which we always recommend is that you should put a weight the very first tip is here wait use the thread dot sleep and observe in the automation window that what is happening so any kind of failure is happening in your automation script you should always put the thread dot sleep before you are going to perform the action on that particular element or on that line where it is failing before that line you should put this thread dot sleep at least for 10 20 seconds so that you can see what is happening before a script is failing so what we will do we will add here thread dot sleep let's say for 10 seconds so with this we will be able to figure it out why it is not clicking like with the visible eyes you, we can see in that automation window so we will stop the script here and run it again <clears throat> so now uh, it will open the website selectorsub.com and it will wait there for 10 seconds before it will fail so we can see and uh, like uh, observe here that what's happening why it didn't click on that element why it was non-interactable element so you see that now for 10 seconds it is we are waiting here but that element selector sub pro element is not visible here we want to click on this element and it didn't appear to click on that so that's the reason it was failing saying that non-interactable so now we have to make sure that when we try to perform action on this element it should be visible right so now we got the reason that why it is failing so we'll go here and we were trying to click on this element selector sub pro and if you see that if you observe that if we paste this x path here <clears throat> so it is showing us one element matching so many a times it happened that we used to think that element x path is matching it is showing one element matching but why i why automation script is failing saying that non-interactable because that element is not visible for interaction like it is hidden somewhere sitting somewhere 
we can perform action on an on any element not even just this on any element when it will be interactable when it will be visible upfront right so we will have to make that element visible here so this is the region here that element should be visible and it should be interactable even if we verify this x path on that automation window there also we can uh, like it will show the one matching node okay so now what we will do what we need to do here we need to make that element visible first so here we will have to like because this is a drop down so we will have to move our mouse here and by hovering this will be visible okay so let's do this use the action class if you are using selenium i'm using selenium so i'm giving this action class example if you are using something else then you can use uh, like accordingly whatever library methods are supporting to move your mouse over there okay x dot move to element and here driver so we have we need to move our cursor here on pro elements right so what we will do we'll inspect this element pro plans and turn on this copy this come here and paste this dot perform so now we have move our mouse on that particular element to make that visible and now we need to perform the click action on that right so that dot <coughs> click and here we need to pass that element pro plans so this one is pro plans so what we will do we will have this element already so we, let me just copy this let us comment this out and here we will perform the click now we are now we have moved our mouse and then we are clicking so let's again run this script and see if it is working so what we did basically we have put the wait time so that we got the region so you always have to put the sleep time this is one of the best thing for debugging for the web automation script that you try to put a wait time so that you get to know now you see that still we have that 10 second wait so it's waiting and then it will move the cursor on pro pro plans and then you see that it has clicked on selector sub pro and a script has passed successfully so this way we have figured it out that what was the region it was not clicking on that element even though the x path was showing matching elements right then if your script like failing and then uh, after 10 second wait you have figured it out <clears throat> that what is the region also here in this scenario the next step we always uh, suggest because just by pro uh, like seeing this that element is not visible we got to know that okay this element was not interactable this is fine this was the easy one but there will be many scenarios that even your element is visible in that case what we recommend <coughs> that element is visible and it was interactable it is something else or other error in that case we recommend that we should never close the automated window so we because generally like when you will be running your automation script it is always a real time framework where most of the time you always have this driver dot quit method or driver dot close method which which used to close the automation window before you uh, like try to debug something or if you want to observe something in the automation window that will close like for an example let's say we wanted to debug here something and you have this driver dot quit method enabled not commented and if you will run the automation script here before you try to observe that what's happening what's what could be the error there your automation window get closed so in that case we are not able to like you will not be able to verify the x path or selector on the automated window or anything you want to experience that what is the error so in this <coughs> in this kind of situation you need to we always recommend that you keep it commented and then you run your script or you try to debug that thing so here you see that 
we don't recommend like we always recommend that don't close the automated window because you have to like you there might be a chance that you need to verify your x path css selector or if you want to see the dom of that element in the automated window because what happened like when you see the dom in the uh, <clears throat> this uh, normal window sometimes that is different that got different little bit then the automated window there could be a chance that there are some of the dynamic element dynamic element in the sense that their attribute is dynamic having the dynamic values which get changed when you open the same element through the automation script <clears throat> so we always recommend that you keep that window always open do not close when you are running for debugging purpose when your script is failing then try to pause that and verify the x path and CS, css selector like let's say <clears throat> here uh, we are running our automation script and a script is failing <clears throat> failing for this particular element okay so in this case what we always recommend that you run your automation script and verify that x path or css selector in the automation window so that you will be uh, like very much sure that whatever x path and css selector you are using that is correct like in this case the script is going to fail so we need to make sure that the x path which we have changed used here that is also there in automated window and then we will go for some other reason to check like something else if x path is failing or css selector is failing then we will fix that so let me copy this and here let's open selector sub and how you will get this uh, selector sub in the automated window that also we will show you so here you see that one element matching it is showing so that is correct like x path is correct so we can sh make sure that okay x path is correct now because it is showing one element matching if x path will not be one matching in that case we will go for something else so x path is fine so we need not to work on the x path of selectors here we need to see that why is it is failing so that was the reason we have earlier seen that it is hover thing element was not visible so the point here is that <coughs> you did not you are not supposed to close the automated window when you are uh, running it for debugging purpose and then you make sure that whatever x path or css selector you are using in your automation script you verify that in automated window like normally normal window most of the time and many a times your x path and css selector will be working but there could be some chance that your x path or css selector might not work in your automated windows there you have to make sure that you verify x path and css selector and here how you can get the uh, selectors of in automated window so you have to add this piece of code in your automation script like how you open the automated window window with the uh, extensions so this is the simple three four lines of code if you have it already in your code that is fine if not then you can add this i will leave this uh, piece of code in the description which you can add <coughs> now next point is uh, if you are not using selector sub then you can check the uh, check if the element is inside iframe or shadow dom or svg because if you will be using selector sub then it will immediately let you know that this is this element is inside iframe or shadow dom like here if you are using this and you will inspect this it will tell you but if you are not using it so let's say selector sub in that case you will be uh, inspecting this element and you might be using this x path or css selector something in your automation script and script is failing and later you have to figure it out why it is failing so in that case in the automated window or in the default window you always inspect that element and make sure that if it should not be inside shadow root or iframe if it is there then in that case you will have to handle those elements accordingly like you will have to write the code for shadow dom handling if your that element is inside iframe then in that case you will have to switch inside iframe if it is svg then you will have to write the x path for svg element accordingly so make sure that uh, element if el check in the dom if that element is inside shell dom iframe or if it has any special properties 
if you are using selectors of you just open selectors of and selectors of will let you know what spatial properties this element is having so this way you will be more sure that what could be the region <clears throat> so first you need to put a weight make sure that you add at least like 10 20 second of weight so that easily you can observe what's happening then don't close the automated window verify x path and css selector in automated window and then check if that element is in having any spatial property like iframe shadow dom svg and here the fifth point is like make sure that element is visible and interactable when you are performing the action which i have showed you through this that uh, why we put the wait time so these are some of the like really important point when you are doing the uh, like when you are debugging your script for any kind of failure 99% of the time you will be able to figure it out what is the region what why your script is failing why it is not interacting with that element why you are getting element not found exception non interactable exception or any kind of issue if you still face the issue do let us know in the comment section we will be more than happy to help you guys and you can also connect with us on the selector sub website live chat here if you face any issue while running the automation script if you are but before that we will recommend that you follow these points if still error exists then you can always reach out to us but 99 percent of the chance we guarantee that these things will help you these uh, points will help you to figure out what is the issue i always recommend these points only in fact whenever i use to connect with anyone to help them first thing i ask the weight and 90 percent of the time this first point itself help them to figure it figure out what is the issue and then next point is very very helpful the verifying the x path with this you make sure that x path or css selector in the automated window same x path is exist working or not so this will help you guys a lot and third point also like very important m most of the chances are there that elements used to exist inside iframe shadow dom or it is a special element like svg Hope this video you found useful if you find it useful and informative please share it with others and for such kind of informative information or videos please subscribe to the selector sub youtube channel thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you